Hey, we're back. Rush Limbaugh, by the way. Great to have you here. Telephone number, if you want to be on the program, is 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushmo at eibnet.com. And we start in San Diego. John, great to have you on the program, sir. Hello. Hey, happy early Thanksgiving to you, Rush. Um, you know, these ads that we're getting already from the Republican establishment is going to be the death of them come November, because if they're going to push another, you know, McCain or Romney-type candidate on us, I'm voting for Hillary. I'm, I'm done with them eating their own. Are you, know? you kidding me? I'm voting for Hillary. I hate to say it, but at least with Hillary, you know what you're going to get, you know, with these phony balonies like McConnell and you, Bader. You, you don't mean that. You're just saying that. You're just saying well, that to get a rise I'm, out of people. I'm going to vote for her or, or just stay home like in 2012, one or the other. I'm just, I'm done. But you have a good week, good Thanksgiving, and I'll, I'll take my, uh, my answer. No, wait, wait, here. wait, wait, don't, don't, don't go away. Well, You're not mad at me, are you? I mean, I just, I'm just incredulous. I'm not mad at you. Don't, 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 don't think that I'm, don't think you got to run away here unless you have to go. Well, no, I got, I'm in San Diego and it's about 80 degrees out, so I got to get out there and enjoy it, but, uh. I'm just, you know, here we go again, and you know the name calling and the attacks by our own yeah. on on some like a Ted Cruz. I'll wait till yeah. wait till Donald does drop out. Well, get this. Let me Cruz. tell you something else. I mean, this is gonna, really going to frost you before you go out and start enjoying the weather in San Diego. They some people in New Hampshire are releasing a poll they did that shows that Mitt Romney is the preferred Republican candidate in New Hampshire. He's not even running. Um, in 2012, maybe. <laughs> they need to wake up. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Boston uh, Globe. Right. It's it's a Boston Globe poll claims that Romney would enter the race if he would enter in New Hampshire. That he would win the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know what's in the water back there, but uh, we need to wake up. It's you know time's running out. But thanks thanks for taking my call, Rush. You bet. You bet. Enjoy the weather out there in San Diego. What sounds like the Romney story? The Romney poll story. It's a Boston Globe. It could be planted, I guess. You know, a bunch of commie bastards in the media. Yeah, well, Romney forces at work. It could be. I don't know. You think Romney wants to run again? Oh, you do? Really? Romney wants to. Mr. Snurdly shouting at me here that he thinks Romney wants to run and is, is, is angling to get people to beg him to come in sort of like as a, as a savior and, yeah, and, and, and maybe win this time. You know, maybe maybe get it done. Anyway, uh, look, what our first caller said here, these ads that are being run against Trump by other Republicans, this happens in, in primaries. Candidates in the same party run attack ads on each other. There's nothing unusual about it. It's part and parcel of the process. But in this case, the Trump supporters are really, really being offended by it. And they're doubling down their support for Trump. And now they're starting to threaten the establishment. If you guys keep this up, we're not even going to show up for it. We'll vote actively against you if we think you have destroyed candidate we prefer. i just say it again. and it's, it's really irrelevant, but I think it's worth mentioning. The people that we consider to be the establishment type and inside professional political class people, which includes elected officials, strategists, congressional staffers, media, K Street lobby, that whole club of inside the Beltway professional politicians, all of whom, every damn one of them, make their living, which is a significantly nice living, off of government. really, really, really do not know how much they are resented. They must, they must really not know. Because if they do know, this is the strangest way I have ever seen of people trying to bridge a gap insulting your opponents, insulting your own team members has never been shown to work. And yet they're all doubling down on this. 
rather than trying to find ways to build a bridge to these people. It's the strangest, strangest thing. So I, I don't know. I don't know if they really, really are that out of touch or if they are totally, supremely aware of how much they are resented and disliked and so forth and just don't care. Except every four years at election time. But after, beyond that. The rest of the country may as well not matter. But this comprises both parties. Folks, this is not... The difference in the Republicans and Democrats on this is... I mean, you got Bernie Sanders. He's, he's, a, he's a genuine Democrat kook. Okay? And the media is pointing out, you know, Bernie Sanders is doing better in the Democrat primary than Trump is in the Republican primary in, in many ways in terms of the amount of support. The point is, the Democrat establishment, do not doubt me, there's no way Bernie Sanders is going to be the nominee, but they are not out trying to destroy the guy. And they're not out there insulting and distancing themselves from Bernie's supporters. They're trying to convert them to Hillary or trying to bring them back. Trying, they don't want to tick them off. Contrast that with the way the Republican establishment is and, and really for the past number of years has always acted toward members of its own base. It's a big difference.